Hey guys, over the past couple of weeks I've been talking to you about why A-level physics is a great option and why A-level chemistry is a great option and now we are on to A-level biology. So I do not teach A-level biology but I did take A-level biology and I do remember it being a lot of fun. So it is a really, really good option, but obviously I'm biased since my love is chemistry and physics, so I think they're slightly better. But A-level biology is still great, okay, it's still great. Um, but first of all, a little bit of a warning. Do not take A-level biology because you think it is an easy option. It's not easy, okay? It is not any easier than chemistry or physics, it is different to chemistry and physics, but it is not any easier. The universities love the science A-levels, and the reason they love the science A-levels is because they're hard. So don't take A-level biology thinking you're going to get like an easy A-level, think it's going to be a soft option. It's not, okay? It is still a hard A-level. You're still going to have to work hard at it, do loads and loads of work if you want to get a good grade. Now, some of the things you'll find in A-level biology um, are quite different to some of the things you'll find in A-level chemistry and physics. So there is still going to be a lot of maths. I know, okay? Now, there's not going to be as much maths as you get in chemistry and physics, but you have to do a lot with probability. You have to do some really, really complicated statistics in this, okay? So don't think there's no maths in there. But what there is in there, which you don't get in chemistry and physics, is kind of like the arty side of it. There is a lot of drawing that goes on in A-level biology. And this is because if we think back to the, not the beginning, but a long time ago, when they first invented microscopes, when they were first discovering cells and structures, they didn't have cameras or computers to capture all these images of them. They drew them by hand. And some of these drawings are absolutely stunning. Stunning. Some of these drawings are amazing, beautiful, beautiful pieces of artwork. And because of this, in A-level biology, you're expected to do some drawing as well. Now, we're not talking about massive, massive arty pieces here. We're talking about accurate scientific representations of what you can see down the microscope. Okay? So I don't get too freaked out if art isn't your thing, but do be warned, you are going to have to do some drawing. Now biology is a lot of plants, so you are going to be spending some time outside. Now this was always my least favourite bit of biology, getting my willies on and going traipsing through a marsh counting weeds. But you do get to go on field trips. Now I know I've told you you shouldn't pick your A levels based on field trips, but if you like spending time outside then biology is a really really good option because you do spend a lot of time outside counting things, looking at things, measuring things. It is a really, really important part of a biologist's um, skill set to be able to record what they see, to be able to interpret what they see, and to be able to talk about what they see accurately. A-level biology is going to take you from biology of the big, big things, so whole body systems, how they work, how they interact with each other, to biology of the really, really small things, which was the bit that I always loved. Um, so biology of the cells, how they work, how they interact with each other, and it is absolutely fascinating. It's actually incredible to think of all of this evolved kind of like by itself. It's absolutely amazing. You'll be so, so fascinated by the stuff you learn in A-level biology. I loved my A-level biology lessons. Um, right towards the end of the course, we were doing um, the bit on sex, and my teacher went to Anne Summers. <laughs> Can't imagine this happening these days, this was quite a few years ago, and just brought in loads of things for us to look at. I let you use your imagination. Um, and chocolate penises for all of us, um, which we thought was the most hilarious thing ever, that our quiet elderly biology teacher was giving us all chocolate penises. Um, or peni, is that the plural? I'm never sure. I don't know, not that I need to know. Um, another thing that my biology teacher did was she was really good friends with a butcher, and once she bought in a bisected pig's head, so just cut straight down the middle like that, and gave it to us to 
look at so we could see all the structures on the inside how it all held together there is a lot of gooey dissections in A-level biology which once you get over the squeamishness of it is really really interesting um, a pluck is a really interesting one to do that's the the lungs and the the trachea of the of an animal generally a sheep now if you get the tongue and the voice box of a sheep as well from the butcher um, sometimes they cut that bit out sometimes they don't it will actually bar for you um, so everybody is really really hands on it's really really interesting it's really good fun but do not take it because you think it might be an easy soft option